Hi friends, you're welcome to this episode of Josie's Cuisine. Today, I will be showing you how to make masa. Masa is a popular West African snack, very common in the Hausa communities. Nigerians call it wena. We Cameroonians call it masa. How is this snack called in your area? Let me know in the comment section. If you want to know how I made this yummylicious goodness, then stay tuned. Let me guide you through the process. Let's get started. And the main ingredient for this recipe is rice. We will be using our local rice cultivated in Cameroon known as ndop rice. You can equally use any other rice but not parboiled rice. Jasmine rice is equally just perfect for masa. For this recipe, we are using two and a half cups of rice. So we measure two cups of rice and add into a bowl and then we reserve half cup for boiling. So two cups will be washed and soaked while the half cup will be boiled. So we set aside the half cup of rice and then we proceed to wash the two cups of rice. So we add in water and wash the rice thoroughly and rinse several times. So after washing, we add in enough water to cover the rice and we soak for at least six hours, preferably overnight. I soaked mine overnight and the following morning, this is what we have. So we proceed to rinse the rice and then we blend. So we transfer the rice into the blender and then we add in enough water to cover the rice and we proceed to blend till it's very smooth. You remember the half cup of rice we set aside earlier? I went ahead to boil it off camera so that the video doesn't become unnecessarily long. So we measure out one cup of boiled rice and then we add into the blender. And then we blend again just for about 5 to 10 seconds. The boiled rice shouldn't be too smooth to have the best result. After blending, we pour the butter into a mixing bowl. Then we proceed to add in the other ingredients. This is the consistency we are looking for. If yours is too thick, you can add in a bit water. So at this point, we come in with 2 tablespoons of sugar. You can add more if you want and equally half a teaspoon of salt and then we come in with two teaspoons of instant yeast then we stir everything to combine well And at this point, I decided to add in two tablespoons of powdered milk, but this is very, very optional. Since I'm making breakfast for children, I thought of adding in at least a source of protein. Once we are done mixing, we proceed to cover with a clean film and we set aside in a warm place to rise for 30 to 45 minutes. After 40 minutes, this is what we have. The butter has doubled in size. So we stir gently to release all the air. We need to take out all the air bubbles before we proceed to fry. And to fry, we will need a masa pan. This is the one you will find in our local market. And for those in the diaspora, you can have Vitumbwa pan on Amazon. Very good for masa. So we add in about a teaspoon of oil in all the portions of the pan. And we allow it to heat up for a while. Then we begin to add in the butter 
just like this. So, for it to cook properly, we are frying on medium low heat. And once it cooks for about 3 to 4 minutes, we flip to the other side. I find it easier using a skewer to flip to the other side, though you can still use a spoon. So, we keep flipping till our masa is ready. This can take about 6 to 8 minutes depending on your heat. And once it turns golden brown like this, we take it out and place on a paper towel. See how beautiful they look. So, we just keep repeating the process till we are able to fry all the butter. And our fluffy and delicious masa is ready. You can simply take it as a snack or you pair with some tea or pap. Let us see what the inside looks like. Oh my God. See how light and fluffy it is. So, so soft and pillowy. And it tastes so, so good. Guys, give this snack a try and I assure you, you will definitely enjoy it. Please subscribe to this channel for more amazing recipes. Equally like, comment and share this video to your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.